Welcome. Hello guys. Welcome to today's tutorial on how to configure static NAT on your favorite Cisco ASA. Now the steps are pretty easy, but why don't we go over the scenario? So over here on my left hand side, okay, left being west and right being east, uh, in my western zone is DMZ1 and I've got server 1 on 10.98.10.10 okay and I've got server 1 of DMZ2 over here as well now I have not I've not applied an IP address to it yet because the subject is going to be about one-to-one um, -one or static NAT to this server here now static NAT really um, it's a NAT you know uh, in which the inbound um, TCP uh, for example, like the AT over the uh, HTTP uh, coming into this web server, you know, uh, requests on the outside of int interface are forwarded to uh, the internal web server on DMZ uh, server 1, uh, which is located on 10.98.10.10. Now, there are three statements to, um, to enter in the global configuration mode and that actually um, completes these steps of populating the object with the host IP address information, create the object and create a static NAT statement. So why don't you go ahead and do that right away. So over here, uh, first thing I need to do is I've identified my uh, interface facing that server. It's on the nine, so that's fine. Uh, let's see if I can ping that server at 10.98.10.10 and I can ping to it all right excellent now um, I'm gonna go ahead now and create what I need so like I said you go into your global configuration mode and let's call this object uh, is that how to fill object yes and always say the word network but then this one is um, a web server and I will say on TCP 80 okay it's, it's a bit long but that's how I want to be descriptive um, the host IP address is 10.98.10 and dot 10 then we perform that static NAT okay so um, in the previous video we did um, um, uh, network uh, object NAT where we did um, NAT and then the the interface the zone we're coming from to the outside interface and then dynamic interface however what changes here is we type NAT and this is located here on cloud one okay and it's going to the outside interface but then over here I say static and I say interface and then I specify what sort of service I expect okay over here now the service I expect here is a TCP and then I want the port I want to open really key that it's www www because it's predefined uh, by Cisco in there yeah what if I did 80 will that work fine that also works fine okay so that is the first important step uh, that you perform and once you've done that that is good uh, but it is also worth knowing that that first line that you put in there will create the network object and the name that you give it and so when I go down here and let's verify what we just done now so show run and keywords I will say begin object and then I will say um, of course I typed host as well and then uh, I typed NAT okay let's use static uh oh begin I always put the space behind So here we go. So we go to the object network device, 
Uh, no, um, this is not the one I'm talking about. Object host. Yeah, object network host server 80. It's IP address. And then we can look at the NAT. Uh, cue that. Let's actually do NAT here. And then we've got the NAT, which is a uh, static NAT. Okay, so that object and the static NAT. And let's go ahead and actually do show one. So that is um, number three, create a static NAT interface. Now let's check number two, create the objects. Okay, so show run include, and I call it object network. And we have um, web server, that's the one. So that's the create objects number two. And then finally, um, the first one is when you when you do um, oh sorry <laughs> uh, that is that's a part of it uh, and then this is this is actually the name for it for uh, number one and then finally number two is a subnet so include ten dot ninety eight and so the host ten dot ninety eight okay so show run include host static 10.98 and here we go we've got that all the information there so and then of course the network object web so object network host the name I've given it like again and then the NAT static interface so I'm leaving that here for you to take a screenshot or but I'll put that in the um, information in the description below so thank you for viewing and I'll see you on the next one always remember you have to populate the object with host IP address information you create your object you create a static NAT statement static NAT is just NAT the interface or the zone you're coming from the outside interface here static interface service type um, it is important to actually create um, uh, what I would say uh, to make the static nut to work is you have to create your assets list and um, I could actually go ahead and teach you that okay so why don't I actually do that now uh, let's actually go ahead and create assets list now so configure terminal and then I will say assets list and that's for uh, permission for uh, traffic coming in so I'll say outside coming in on the inside but this one is cloud one okay and then I'll say permit and then what I permit is a TCP of course and then I'll say anyone because I don't know where these guys are located let's have a look this guy could be anywhere all right they could be over there over there over anywhere okay public cloud somewhere but they can't hit this interface and then we translated this to this way so um, uh, I'll say host and then of course we come to 10.98.10.10 and then I'll say I want to allow only www which is port 80 once I've done that I can actually go ahead and apply it to the interface which is interface outside so access group and the name of it is outside cloud one which was outside cloud one and then I said in interface I, I accept this in is interface on the outside so traffic coming through here okay so press enter and then now your static nut is ready to go so we got all that we need here 
as it's listed there, um, we've got our fabric mat, we've got the host name, and of course we, we do have the object. Uh, let me add the object to this one. And so that's uh, the object network, and I call it web. All right, I'll, I'll stick the conf config right within, uh, right within the description. So thank you for viewing, and see you on the next.